Message delivered to Iran. Biden says after strike on Houthis, President Joe Biden issued a veiled threat to Iran hours after the US and Britain struck at dozens of Iran-backed Houthi sites in Yemen. The strike on Houthis came after the group shrugged off all warnings and demands to stop attacking vessels in the Red Sea. On the night of January the 12th, the armed forces of the United States and the United Kingdom carried out strikes using aircraft, ships and submarines against targets of the Houthis in a number of cities in Yemen, including Sana'a and Hodeida. The U.S. Central Command has confirmed the U.S. forces conducted a strike against a Houthi radar site in Yemen on the night of January the 13th. The strike was conducted by the USS Kani using Tomahawk. Tomahawk land attack missiles and was a follow-on action on a specific military target associated with strikes taken on January the 12th, designed to degrade the Houthis' ability to attack maritime vessels, including commercial vessels, according to a statement published on the CENTCOM page on the social network X. The statement also notes that since November the 19th, 2023, Houthis have attempted to attack and harass vessels in the Red Sea and the Gulf of the Aden 28 times. These illegal incidents include attacks that have employed anti-ship ballistic missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles, the statement says. I don't think there's any civilian casualties. Biden said defending the strikes conducted by warplanes, U.S. Navy destroyers and even submarines. That's another reason why it's a success. Asked by a reporter if he had a message for Iran in the light of the attack, Biden said, I've already delivered the message to Iran. They know not to do anything. Some countries in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia, are concerned that U.S. strikes on Houthi capabilities would only aggravate, not deter, the group and lead to an all-out regional war or direct confrontation with Iran. Asked about such a possibility, President Biden only said, Iran doesn't want a war with us.